Hold on to your hats, folks, because China just threw a major wrench into the global tech industry. They've officially banned the export of their Lungsan chips and everyone's freaking out. These aren't just any chips, mind you. We're talking about the homegrown processors that power some of China's most critical systems. This is a big deal, people, and it has sent shockwaves around the world. Think of it like China just cut off the supply of fortune cookies to the entire planet. Except instead of missing out on vague predictions, we're talking about potential disruptions to everything from smartphones to supercomputers. Yeah, it's that serious. So what's the deal with these Lungsan chips and why should we care? Buckle up Buttercup because we're about to dive deep into the world of geopolitics, technological innovation and the future of the digital age. China's decision to slam the brakes on Lungsan exports didn't come out of nowhere. It's a calculated move driven by a potent cocktail of factors that have been brewing for a while. Let's break it down, shall we? First up, national security. China's got big plans for the future, and those plans involve becoming a global tech superpower. They don't want to rely on other countries, especially the US for something as crucial as computer chips. It's like trying to build the world's tallest skyscraper with imported bricks. You might get the job done, but you're always at the mercy of your supplier. Speaking of the US, let's not forget the ongoing trade tensions between these two giants. Remember that whole Huawei debacle? Yeah, this chip ban is partly a response to the US's attempts to restrict China's access to advanced technology. But it's not just about sticking it to Uncle Sam. China genuinely wants to foster its own tech industry and reduce its dependence on foreign imports. They've been pouring billions into research and development and the Lungsan chips are a testament to their progress. Bottom line, China's playing the long game and they're not afraid to make bold moves to secure their position on the global stage. Now, let's talk about the fallout from China's chip ban. Spoiler alert, it ain't pretty. The global tech industry is interconnected like a tangled web and China just yanked on a thread that could unravel the whole thing. Are you enjoying the video? If yes, please subscribe, like and share our videos for more updated and exciting content. Let's continue. Remember that smartphone you're probably reading this on, or that fancy laptop you're using to pretend to work from home. Yet both of those rely on a complex supply chain that stretches across continents with China playing a pivotal role. And guess what? Lungsan chips, while not as ubiquitous as some others, are still part of that delicate ecosystem. So what does this mean for the average tech consumer? Well, get ready for some potential headaches. We could see delays in product launches, shortages of certain devices, and maybe even price hikes. Remember the great GPU shortage of 2021? Yeah, this could be like that but for a wider range of gadgets. But it's not just about our personal tech toys. This ban has far-reaching implications for industries that rely on advanced computing power. We're talking about healthcare, finance, transportation, and even national defense. Buckle up, folks, because things are about to get bumpy. Okay, so we've established that lungs and chips are a big deal, but where exactly are they used? Well, hold on to your hats because these babies are everywhere, powering a surprising range of applications. Let's start with the obvious computers. Lungsan processors can be found in everything from servers and workstations to laptops and desktops. They're not quite at the level of Intel or AMD yet, but they're catching up fast, especially in the Chinese market. But it's not just civilian tech that relies on these chips. Oh no, Lungsan has also made its way into China's military hardware. Think tanks, missile systems and even fighter jets. Yep, those bad boys need some serious processing power and Lungsan is there to deliver and don't forget about infrastructure. Lungsan chips are used in telecommunications equipment, power grids and transportation systems. They're like the unsung heroes of the digital age, quietly keeping things running behind the scenes. So as you can see, Lungsan's reach is vast and growing. This isn't just about some niche technology, it's about the building blocks of the modern world. And China just hit the pause button on sharing those building blocks with the rest of us. The future just got murky AI, 5G and more in limbo. Now let's talk about the impact of China's chip ban on emerging technologies. We're talking about game-changing innovations like artificial intelligence, 5G networks, and the Internet of Things, or IoT. Remember those sci-fi movies where robots take over the world? AI is key in making those robots a reality, hopefully the friendly kind. AI development relies on powerful processors, the kind China just decided to keep for itself. And there's 5G, the super-fast wireless technology that promises blazing fast internet. 5G networks require sophisticated equipment, much of which is made in China and uses Lungsan chips. 
And let's not forget about the IoT, the interconnected web of devices making our homes smarter and lives easier. So what happens to these technologies now that China is holding the chips hostage? One thing's for certain, the future just got a whole lot more uncertain. The world scrambles. Who can fill the chip gap? With China's Lungsun ban sending shockwaves, countries and companies are scrambling for alternative sources. It's like a global game of musical chairs and nobody wants to be left standing. The US is ramping up domestic chip production, throwing billions in subsidies and incentives. It's a classic case of, if you want something done right, do it yourself meanwhile other players are emerging as potential chip suppliers. Taiwan, home to TSMC, is a major player but faces pressure from China. South Korea, with giants like Samsung and SK Hynix, is well positioned but must navigate geopolitical challenges. The chip shortage just got real and everyone's scrambling for a solution. What's next? The Lungsun saga continues. So what does the future hold for Lungsun and the global tech industry? Well folks, that's the million dollar question and nobody has a crystal ball handy, but one thing's for sure. This is far from over. China's chip ban is a major power play, a sign that they're serious about becoming a technological force to be reckoned with. They're not just content with being the world's factory anymore. They want to be the brains behind the operation too. The rest of the world is now faced with a choice. Adapt or be left behind. Countries and companies that rely on Chinese chips will need to find alternative sources, invest in their own technological capabilities, or risk falling behind in the global race for innovation. This isn't just about economics or technology. It's about geopolitics and national security. The battle for chip supremacy is just one front in a larger struggle for global dominance and the stakes couldn't be higher. So buckle up folks because the Lungsun saga is just getting started and it's going to be a wild ride. Let's talk chips. Share your thoughts. All right folks, we've covered a lot of ground here from China's chip ban to the global scramble for alternatives. But now it's your turn to weigh in. What do you think about China's decision to restrict Lungsun exports? Is it a shrewd strategic move or a sign of growing technological isolationism? How do you think this will impact the global tech industry in the long run? And most importantly, what's your go-to snack when you're pondering the future of the digital age? Asking for a friend? Hit us up in the comments below and let's get this chip-fueled conversation started. China's ban on Lungsun chip exports is a significant move that will have far-reaching implications for the tech industry, global supply chains, and international relations. It's essential to understand the broader implications of this ban and its potential consequences for countries and industries around the world. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave your thoughts on this ban in the comments below. If you want to stay ahead of the curve on the latest tech trends, be sure to check out my previous video on the emergence of new chip technologies that are changing the game. Subscribe to Revo now and join our vibrant community of forward thinkers, change makers, and revolutionaries.